Hi, I'm Allison, and I'm going to show you how to set up what hopefully will be some effective forums in a Moodle site. This video was filmed in August 2013, so depending on when you're accessing the video and what version of Moodle you're using, your site may look a little different from what you see here, but the basic functions and principles should still hold. Watch carefully, feel free to pause this video when you need to, and you should be able to use these steps to set up an effective forum. So forums can be a great way to encourage some thoughtful personal reflection from students or participants in your course. Um, but if overused or poorly designed, actually forums can backfire pretty quickly. Um, and they can be a great way to overwhelm students really easily or incentivize them to write sort of shallow, fluffy contributions. Um, so they can easily get frustrating. Forums, remember, are not in any way a recipe for sort of instant engagement. Um, they can, again, get quickly kind of frustrating. So you really do need to take time when setting up your course to plan your forums well um, and respect your students' time and energies in, in how you um, ask them to contribute to forums. Um, I'm going to focus on two different types of forums that you can set up in Moodle. And ironically, neither of these two types of forums are forums that are the default forum type for Moodle. So the two most effective forums um, that I've seen are actually not the default setting in Moodle. So just keep that in mind as we move forward. The two types of forums we'll focus on today is an each person posts one discussion forum. And that's where everyone starts a new thread with their own unique contribution. So you might say, hey, introduce yourself and show us some pictures of yourself. Each student would post their own discussion thread. And then they can go in and comment on others' discussion threads. So that sort of keeps it organized where everybody has a thread that they start. And then they can go in and look at other people's threads um, as it's relevant. So I'll show you that later. Another, um, the second type of forum we're going to look at is a single simple discussion forum, and that's a forum where everyone posts to the same single thread, so all contributions to the forum are on the same page in the same thread, and the instructor might start with a question at the top, and then everybody just posts their responses in a line kind of down the page. So I'll show you both of those. Now uh, let's not confuse that with the standard forum set up on Moodle, which is a standard forum for general use. And so we're actually going to um, select away from that forum and, and set up these two other types of forums. So I've got both of those set up in this sample site here. Let's look first at the each person posts one discussion forum. So I've got a sample here. We're just going to go ahead and edit it. Um, and actually to add a forum, sorry, I'll go back really quickly. To add a forum, you just go ahead and click on Add an Activity or Resource, and underneath there, select oops, select Forum, and hit Add. And then you'll be able to give your forum a title, uh, make it an obvious title too, uh, and then go ahead and select what type of forum you want. All right, so I've done that already, and here we'll look at the settings for this forum and how you can set it up. So go ahead and type a forum name up here. And then change from the default standard forum for general use, that's what you'll see by default, to each person posts one discussion if you want this type of forum. And then in this um, sort of description text, as an instructor, you'll want to add some clear description of what you want students to actually do in your forum. Um, and also maybe make some mention of how they can contribute to the forum. So they're actually going to need to click a button labeled Add a New Discussion Topic. So go ahead and write that in bold somewhere. Click Add a New Discussion Topic, and that will make it clear that they need to do that. And then tell them what to do in there, under that discussion topic. Um, and then also make clear your expectations of how you want them to respond and engage with cl other classmates' posts. Um, that's just sort of a way to make sure that the discussion stays on topic and feels manageable to students. So once you've set up this each person posts one discussion forum, I'll go ahead and show you what it looks like. You will get something like this. So the instructions at the top, student will come in, they'll see, oh, I can add a new discussion topic. You'll see one student's already done that. I have a sample student here who's already added a discussion. Um, they can title their discussion. Do, 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 do. And write a message. Uh, and then go ahead and click post a forum. So if each, they'll also have 30 minutes to add it by default in the form. So if each student does that and adds a discussion, um, they're contributing sort of a unique thread. And then they can also go in, and you can, again, um, give them kind of a crash course and instruct them how to do this, and look at someone else's post and reply to that post. And so a student could go and say, hey, great idea. So 
So then what you end up with is this forum where each student has initiated a discussion about themselves and then others can go in and add some comments. Again, you want to help them navigate this if this is their first time that they've really engaged in this way. Um, but these discussions then all stay very, very organized. And you'll see once I've already contributed as a student, I no longer have the option to add a new discussion topic. This is each person posts one discussion. So I've got my one discussion and I'm done. That will work that way for every single student. So no confusion, no extra threads, no extra discussions on this list. Everyone gets one. All right, the next forum we're going to look at is a standard, or sorry, a single simple discussion forum. And I have an example of that here. So again, I added that by doing add an activity or resource and selecting forum add. And I'll show you kind of how you set up the settings for a single simple discussion. Give it a forum name. You might even just put the question that you want to ask in the forum right at the top. And then again, select forum type and this time select a single simple discussion. And then as the instructor or site planner, you can post um, a question, a really clear question here at the top um, and be clear about how you expect them to respond to this question. Um, if you're worried too about politeness, you might even add a little kind of extra text about how you expect students to kind of be polite and engage with each other. And then go ahead and save your forum. And this single simple discussion forum then You'll see that we've got the initial question posted by the instructor at the top. And then students can go ahead and hit reply to that and add their two cents below. And so you'll see this student, this test student, has already hit reply here. And their response is posted below. And as a student, um, another student could go in and hit reply and reply to that person. And you'll notice as this uh, single simple discuss discussion grows, it gets longer down the page. Um, so it really is best to have a very pointed question um, and just kind of, you know, a one-off way to answer this question. Um, it's not great for every single thing you'd pose in class, but it does keep things focused and it keeps things kind of just all on one page. It's all out there. This won't work great in a class that's very large um, because it'll really, really quickly become um, really long page, um, a long thread, but it's a way to just ask, ask a simple question and have everyone kind of respond and keep it together. So those are the two types of forums uh, that I'd recommend to keep things sort of focused and keep en um, students' energies focused. Some general considerations for forums. Um, know that freer structure is not more effective in forums. I think I've kind of emphasized that already, but forums can get quickly out of um, get quickly out of hand, so take time to plan ahead. Um, give students good pointed questions and topics to engage with, not just kind of have a free-for-all. Uh, and then give clear ex expectations on how much you expect them to post, um, if, especially if you're going to grade them on this. Uh, make it clear, hey, post two, uh, two responses and uh, or post one original response and then respond to other classmates. Uh, and then also just remember that no matter how well you design your forum, it will likely get more chaotic than you expect. Uh, one way then as an instructor or course planner to bring it back together is to watch what students post in a forum and then create a summary of the most important topics that participants have brought up over the course of the forum. And that can be a great role for you um, because it shows participants that you considered the forum activity meaningful enough that you took the time to read and consider their responses and then post your own kind of summary. Uh, that will hopefully make the chaos feel pretty productive and propel participants forward in the course. You may also need to consider instead of adding a summary in text form, if you want to do that, um, you might want to make a video or an audio summary as the instructor and just reflect that way back to students, their participation in the forum. All right, good luck and happy moodling.